So when we consider AI today, we need to think as much about power as we do about tech. Right now, Facebook, that company that was in DC talking about misinformation yesterday, if you followed that, has a team of 60 engineers that are working to build a brain-computer interface that promises to let you type with your mind. They put it this way, quote, we want to create a digital assistant that can literally listen to your thoughts anywhere and at any time, and privately. Wait, privately, you might ask? Well, of course, by privately, what they mean is without you having to say anything out loud. They do not mean without you giving Facebook the ability to literally listen to your thoughts. Microsoft is also in the mix, naturally. Uh, it published a patent a little over six months ago titled Changing an Application State Using Neurological Data. You wear some kind of fancy headband, and presto, you can use your thoughts to close a browser tab. It's the same premise. Now, never one to shy away from futurist fantasies, there's Elon Musk's Neuralink, a company developing an ultra-high bandwidth syringe-injected neural mesh meant to embed itself in the brain. Cool, I guess. Uh, this is one more step toward his dream of avoiding human obsolescence, or maybe Elon obsolescence, by connecting humans to computers. Now, Neuralink promises direct, lag-free interactions between our brains and external devices. So you can control your phone, your Nest thermometer, your smart home, your smart city, whatever, using only your mind. And I don't know, maybe this sounds appealing to you. To me, it sounds terrifying and creepy. But either way, such a thing doesn't just happen. It requires a lot of centralized infrastructure. And indeed, if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll see that most of the Neuralink job ads are looking for infrastructure folks. They're looking for people able to build an end-to-end -end development storage and compute pipeline able to scale to petabytes of data and hundreds of developers across multiple clouds. So translation, your thoughts in the form of neural data measured via this embedded brain mesh will be sent to Neuralink server infrastructure where this data will be stored, interpreted, processed, and almost certainly used to train and calibrate the next generation of brain models which Neuralink relies on to interpret your thoughts in the first place. 